Hello my friends, welcome back. Today we are going to be taking a look at Wings of Manx, or Manx of Liberty. I don't remember which is called. Is the Manx co-op commander in Wings of Liberty, but it's not just that. It's a more expanded faction from what I understand. And apparently, it's on Nightmare Difficulty. I just saw that as I clicked. Um, didn't actually know that going into this, but you know what? Why not? Honestly, I having a commander as strong as Manx inside of Wings of Liberty obviously would be obscenely powerful, so Nightmare seems like a fun little challenge at this point. Uh, from what I have been told about this mod, it does not have edited cutscenes or anything, unfortunately. It's not like Reverse, where it's okay. Manx versus Rainer or whatever, but we're Manx. What do we got here? This is a new unit already. Interesting. So we have the Son of Korhal. We have uh, Dominion Troopers, which seem to be normal. $135 for the B2 lengthy machine gun. That's what the L stands for. And then uh, we have a Son of Korhal, who does appear to be a Royal Guard, but is a Marine. 150 HP, very good. 11 damage, actually pretty low. Gains XP at rank 1, gains laser targeting, rank 2, advanced stim pack, and rank 3, magrail munitions. So increase C value FFF80, son of Korhal's sight, by 2 and weapon range by 1. Uh, combat shield upgrade that reduces damage taken by 25%. And no longer takes splash damage. Okay, this guy might be really good. <laughs> Uh, Magrail munitions and advanced stim pack increased attack speed by 100%, movement speed by 50%, and 5 life per second for 50 seconds. Okay, Looking this guy seems very good. We're going to have to keep him alive, obviously. It says Rainer must survive. I don't know if that is, uh, like, if this guy is Rainer. I don't intend on losing him either way. I guess if we get him to level 2, he'll, like, we should tank with him till he gets low. And then once he gets level 2, we're going to have healing on him. That seems like a good time. Oh, yep, they're stimming, and that's nightmare difficulty. <laughs> As I said, I didn't actually know this had a nightmare when I got into it, so I have to put my serious pants on now. Who's resisting us today? Not opposed to it, but I just have to be in a little bit of a different mindset. And of course, we're going to be learning stuff as we go. So that makes uh, Nightmare a little bit more. Oh, hey. Minerals. So that's how we afford our machine guns. Thanks, lies. What? No, he doesn't. See you guys here. Just a couple Marines. One, two. Oh, don't die. Well, at least he has his bonus range. Actually, this is a really interestingly designed mission. Because this guy kind of gets low HP right at the same time that he gets bonus weapon range, and then he kind of ends up in the back. I wonder if that's intentional. Very cool either way. Maybe you're just not supposed to be low HP. Maybe if I got good, then it wouldn't have been a thing. Take out as much as we can over here. Oh, gosh. Oh, that's a lot of damage we took. But we got all these guys. Upgrade this guy, and we are almost level three. So let's go through and grab all this stuff. Uh, by the way, I'm planning on doing the first three missions, uh, finish up zero hour, because you know I'm in a good mood. Ooh. So that should be pretty good. Uh, so all these guys that we're upgrading, we want to get. Oh, 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 oh! He let he yeah 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 he's tank now. So, we can kind of just buy some time. Just keep shooting these, uh, grab all the guns. The guys who get upgraded have bonus range, right? Five. Five, no. <laughs> they are faster, though, so they run to their death really well. <laughs> Which isn't quite what I'm looking for, but that's alright. 135 to upgrade. Ooh, okay. Super Stim, just heal him up a little bit. So, looking right here, definitely want to target down that fire bat first. Well, deal with the two front guards, then deal with the fire bat, then we can take down the remaining marines. Does the fire bat have juggernaut? No, it doesn't, but it does have a lot of HP. These two guys in the back, I don't want them to die. 
Alright, let's go. Looking for direction. Uh, everybody but the firebat pulled. <laughs> I'll take it. Is that you, Emperor? Sometimes things just work out. Who's resisting us today? Boom, boom, boom. Okay, that truck did a lot of damage. Thank you, Raider. So he's gonna get level three pretty soon. And that's going to give him the mag rail munitions, which honestly it's good, but it's not huge. Right, one of the reasons Magrel is so ridiculous in Nova Covert Ops is you can get every single Marine with it. Oh, that was two. Okay, civilians. We're gonna pull it, we're gonna do a real Minsk right here, where <laughs> civilians are all gonna die for us. <laughs> we need you guys to tank. Actually, they did pretty good right there. Destroy the Minsk statue, because there can only be one. And the- Ah, oh, crap, it's a battle cruiser, I forgot about that! Okay, pull back a little bit. Uh, yeah. I just don't want him to target my guys. <laughs> don't care how many civilians die. That wasn't too bad. That was definitely doable. Uh, this doesn't seem as hard as Nightmare Difficulty. Definitely harder than Brutal. Though that might be famous last words. You never know. So for the Outlaws, I assume that we're going to get the Sons of Korhal as our buildable Mengsk unit, and then it's going to be... What else? Uh, it's just going to be basics. It says Medic. I, I don't feel like we are we have a Medic, because Mengsk doesn't have one until the Medivac, right? He gets his little floaty one, but... Yeah, so I... Hmm. Yeah, I think there's going to be the Son of Core Hall, and then it's going to be basic infantry guys. All right. Start up here. We have our enlistment center, which of course is both military and non-military production. I... I think I'm going to get like four guys in here. I want to be safe. Remember that in Nightmare, you do get attacked pretty quickly. The enemy is very, very aggressive, so having a little bit of stuff in here to begin with as we get our economy going and as we build our infrastructure seems like a decent idea. Yeah, I think what I want to do is I want to put four guys in here, then get this up to 18. That's going to be two on every mineral patch. And then after we do that, we can put four more... Oh, two more in here. Oh, jeez. <laughs> oh, jeez. All right. You know what? That was pretty good. Uh, I'm going to be a little bit greedy. It's not really that greedy because, you know, we're just going to start filling it up right now. But now we have full saturation. Then we can start filling. I'm going to grab a second supply bunker here. We're going to fill these up, we're going to get our barracks, we're going to get our gas geyser, we're going to see what units we can actually build here, and what we're going to be working with. I did see a thing. Yeah. Okay, important notes. Sorry, I saw that, but I was talking about stuff and I wanted to go back to it, but then I uh, didn't do it. So Hyperion Armory upgrades have no effect except for Fire Suppression System. An orbital relay. Okay, so there's just two armory upgrades. Uh, unit upgrades need to be researched in the missions. Mercenary purchases have no effect. New mercenary heroic units are unlocked at the end of each quest line. Oh, that's really cool. I actually like that quite a bit. So there's an incentive to actually aggressively finish quest lines instead of meandering. There's custom music in Utter Darkness, which might not be copyright friendly. Type music off in that mission to turn the custom music off. Really like that. Thank you. And there's a bug in Whispers of Doom that is yet to be understood, causing Nova to disappear. Type Nova test when it happens, and we'll share the message. Hmm. So, uh, Whispers of Doom is normally a Protoss mission, just throwing that out there. That's, uh, that's an interesting one. So, we apparently have Nova on that mission. That's good to know. Uh, I like the music thing, by the way. Just want to throw that out there. I think that's really cool that there is custom music, but the ability to turn it off, because... Let's be honest, the copyright laws are dumb when it comes to music use, and 
What's this? Field response theta T. Oh, okay. Uh, how do I want to approach it? Do we have multi-build? One sec. Minx does. Hey, we got multi-build. Okay. Uh, field response thetas are... Yeah. Oh, goodness. Uh, never mind. If you can't leave it, love it. Let's get a couple guns on these guys. Just put them back in and keep building. That was quite the timing attack that they sent right there. Oh, hello. You know what? We got our upgraded gun. And this is a poorly placed... Yeah. Not the best. We should have been one farther back. I like the music thing. Because I think that people... You know, it's a random non-commercial product, right? They're, they're not selling this, so they should be able to put whatever they want in there. But YouTube's copyright thing, blah, 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 it sucks. And it's not even YouTube's fault. Even though a lot of things are, this one isn't. But uh, I like the fact that people get to experience good stuff and it doesn't uh, make it hard to share the content at the same time. That's a smart way to do it, in my opinion. Okay. We're gonna get these guys going. And I think that I want... Well, we're going to read what it does, but I'm kind of defaulting to the idea of, like, three of these, and then maybe start moving into Son of Core Hall production. That seems like it could be really good. Additionally, I don't think that I want... Oh, that was a drop pod. Oh. Uh, okay. So they get drop potted down. So they have a heal ability. When they level up, they get faster heal, cost less energy, range plus two, and gains the XM-77 Matrix ability. Surround a friendly unit with a shield, last 10 seconds, can absorb up to 100 damage. Okay. So we don't have the ability to get these unit upgrades right now. That is... That is one weakness that we have. Looking for direction, sir can get these guys in bunkers. I'm going to try to upgrade a lot of these guys with guns. I feel like if we have a bunch of these medics, then upgrading with guns is good instead of getting a second enlistment center. Planetary Fortress? <laughs> okay. Cannot train units. Oh. Can receive gathered resources. Okay. Huh. That's really interesting. Hmm. There's a lot of interesting things going on in this mod. This is no simple just throwing the co-op commander in here. And I I appreciate it. I think that that's really cool. And it looks like there's going to be a lot of depth for what's going on. As of right now, what I'm planning on doing is just absorbing the attack that comes. And then we're going to start venturing around the map. Figuring out what's going on. I think the way that I want to approach this is I'm going to have these three medics go around with a squad of guys. I want to get the medics to level three because a projected shield sounds amazing. Oh yeah, these are good. Okay, let's go. So we'll have that projected shield, right? And that's going to give us a whole lot of durability. And then those sons of core hall that we get are going to be amazing. They're going to be so good. So I'm just going to train the Sons of Core Hall and keep them at home right now so they don't steal XP. That's a lot of stuff. Um, let's put the medics in the front. I didn't mean to pull just those three. Or those two. Who's resisting us today? I'll take what I can get. It's Nightmare after all. I just wanted them to tank. Alright, that's a lot of money. Is that you, Emperor? Now we're gonna just secure this. That was real close. Oh? Drop? Wait. <laughs> Am I getting dropped? Oh, uh, yes. Oh, they have the real fast drops, too. Jeez. Okay. Um, maybe chillax a bit. Okay, we gotta go save the rebels. 
You know what? Those folks need our help. I'm getting a planetary. There's no way we're leaving them to rot. <laughs> Why not? <laughs> oh, okay. Well, Hellion's been dealt with. Who's resisting us today? Nope, never mind. 600 XP, 1,080. Oh, these guys don't need, like, any XP. Okay. That makes the Sons of Korhal really good. Particularly once we get the upgrade that makes him immune to Splash. That's going to be amazing. Okay, keep getting these. You're doing okay. Seems to be doing well. Won't be able to do a whole lot of damage really, really quick. Because these bunkers are going to be annoying if they can't die quick. But we got them. Getting all the XP we need. Nice job cleaning out that bunker, Jimmy. Between your boys and my skills. Uh, what is with this hole <laughs> where there's so many guys coming out of it? Um... <laughs> All right, there, there was just like a clown car inside of there. <laughs> there was so many. Oh, they're actual allies. Okay, sure. I'll take that. That's really cool. Okay, one thing that I don't like is that the LMG sound effect is global. <laughs> Yeah, these tunnels seem to be just like, they spawn a lot of guys. However, I think that's- whoa, whoa! Never mind. Yeah, we're fine. We gotta take them out, or they'll keep dropping troops right on top of us. Warning. Dominion okay, they're doing a drop, and they're doing a Dominion Hellion attack. Well, the Hellions seem easy enough to deal with. That is so many guys they're dropping. <laughs> Thank you, Mr. Planet. I thought it was a meme. I'm going to be honest. I thought that it was going to be one of those like, oh, well, that was a waste of resources and time. What's Grant doing? No, that was that was a very solid investment. Can you take all these down? Move forward. Creepy crawly. Oh, that is a tank. Not immune to splash yet. I feel like the ping here isn't working as intended. It seems like they're spawning out of the holes. My ally is trying to build up in these areas. But it seems like the holes are spawning people, or there was a drop over there or something. I'm not sure which. Okay, just heal that. Oh, oh, my ally is actually attacking the enemy base. <laughs> well, that's fine. Ugh. That's gonna hurt. They have like 15 medics for one guy. <laughs> go, 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 go. Oh gosh, another tank. Good thing these have a lot of HP. Alright, let's try to take down the factories. Everything has died that isn't <laughs> an elite trooper. Uh, we can set these rallies over here because they deploy by drop pod. That's a planetary! <laughs> oh, that's so funny. Not a problem. We did it. Oh, this was a... This is a toughie. There were a lot of enemies, but we got them. How many enemies was that? Probably like 500. 
Damn. I'm pretty sure normally on Brutal you deal with like 80. <laughs> Maybe 500 is a bit much for the guess. It felt like a lot of enemies though. How many did we have? 559. Yeah, okay. Let's jump into the next mission. This is a good mod. I like this already. I love the fact that it's not just the Minsk, but it's expanded out to be even more. It went even further beyond. I think that's really cool. Hey, Grant from the future here. I got about five minutes into the next mission and then remembered that I had an appointment that I had to go to. So we're going to do zero hour next time. Sorry about that. Uh, I hope you have a wonderful rest of your day. Peace.